<sighs> I'm really depressed right now. I'm so fucking depressed. I'm depressed as fuck. Because I just found out that my brother, the one y'all seen in a video that I did back in January of this year about the guy that was on the platform and he was pushed onto the train tracks and ran over by the market Frankfurt line train. Um, he was in that video and y'all were saying how um, y'all thought we didn't look alike. And that's because we have the same father, but we have different mothers. Um, I'm older than him by four years. Yeah, four years. I'm born in 87. He's born in 91. I got a text from his baby mother this afternoon saying that he had been arrested. And that was always one of my fears, man. Um, because he's not he's not as deep into the the street life. And what I mean by that is like he don't he not pushing like heavy weight. Like he not selling like major drugs um he just kind of dip and dab in that lifestyle because he he fucks with a lot of niggas that is still deep into it the way he was maybe like 10 years ago but he's no longer that deep into it like he can sell drugs on the side um here and there you know if he if he in need of money um but he's he's definitely not selling drugs like the way he was 10 years ago when he was in his early 20s he's 33 now he just turned 33 and um so i i, I still always feared that i would get a call or a text from someone telling me that he died or got shot or that he got arrested and that's what happened today. Um, when I saw uh, some Simone, her name is Simone. When I saw her her number, um, come across my phone. I I when she said his name, I just threw the phone. I just I just I didn't even throw it. I dropped it, and I called my mom because I was just I was so afraid of hearing that something had happened to him. Cause that's always like something lingering in the back of my mind because he's still, like I said, dip and dab in that lifestyle and you don't have to be deep in it. If you fuck with somebody that is, then you're putting yourself at risk. You could be in a car with a motherfucker that got beef with somebody and if they got beef with him and you're in a car with him, they're going to shoot you too. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, he's one of them people, man. One thing about him, he's very stubborn. He think he know it all and he's very smart. He is. He's very smart. And that's the fucked up part is that he is smart. But he's one of the smartest dumb niggas you would ever know. Because he's smart, but he do dumb shit. I've tried to get him a job. I've referred him to, you know, people who were willing to offer him a job. And he would reject it. Came right out and told me that, you know, in so many words, I'm a street nigga. And I'm not comfortable working around people. I'm never going to work a regular nine to five that's just not me, is is not for me. I'm never going to do it. And I'm like, so what are you going to do? Continue selling drugs for the rest of your life? Like you really want to risk going back to jail? Like nigga, you already lost eight years of your life, of your best years. You lost eight of your best years to the court system. You spent eight years in total behind bars. He was locked up for four years from, let me see, he got out when he was 30 in early 2022 he went to jail when he was 26 in 2018 he had been out two years because he came home in 2016 around Thanksgiving and he went in 2012 when he was 20 I think so he was in jail from 20 to 24 then from 26 to 30 that's 8 years bro like you 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 lost all your fucking 20s to the court system. You spent all your 20s behind bars. Like, you should live a straight and narrow life. Like, you should really not want to lose any more time to jail. You spent enough time behind bars. Around a bunch of motherfucking crazy men. And what 
his girl told me happened was that he didn't have anything to do with with you know the gun that they found in the car he was he was driving his friend's car and what I'm what I'm kind of confused by is the fact that because he's very smart like I said and he's a, a guy that really does a good job of like picking up on people personalities and he's very observant he's very analytical um, you can't put wool over his you can't cover his eyes with wool you can't uh, finesse him you can't trick him you can't dupe him he's a very smart savvy guy and he's a very alert observant and aware but apparently he wasn't uh that aware of the, the the type of niggas that he had around him because they wasn't really street niggas now i'm not a street nigga so i don't see anything wrong with snitching but if you're if you're living that that street lifestyle you have to stand by that cult and the, you know one of their their rules is not to snitch um the worst thing you can do or be rather in that world is a snitch or a faggot a, a snitch or gay i don't know which one is worse i don't know which one they i don't know who they hate more but it's 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 it's, it's a it's a close race between a snitch and a gay guy and He was around a guy that wasn't really built like that. He was around a guy who who isn't willing to deal with the consequences and the ramifications that come with being a street nigga. He was around a guy that if shit hit the fan and he was, you know, faced with jail time, he would snitch. And and that's what the guy did. Um his baby mom said that the moment he 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 got arrested and the cops came and pulled them out the car because they found a gun in the car and she saw the guy crying and get on the phone with his baby mom crying oh ooh, come get me they taking me to whatever the jail they took him to they taking me to cfcf they taking me to cfcf and she said she heard the baby mom on the phone like what the fuck is going on where are you at who are you with? What are you doing? What are you getting into? She said she knew that my brother was fucked. She knew he was fucked because she knew that anytime a guy is crying like that, he ain't no real street nigga. And he not built for jail. And he's not going to go to jail. He's going to snitch. He's going to do whatever he can do to avoid jail time because he's not built like that. And I'm just surprised that my brother Rasan did wasn't aware of the kind of soft nigga that he was around. And I don't think the nigga is soft because he snitched and, and said that it was my brother's gun. According to Simone and my brother, it wasn't his gun. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Because I do know that my brother do, um, uh, you know, sometimes he does carry a gun. But that wasn't his gun. According to um, her. And this is why I told him you just shouldn't deal with these motherfuckers at all. You shouldn't be dealing. You shouldn't indulge in no street activities. You shouldn't sell no drugs. I don't care if you're doing just a little bit of it on the side. You just dipping and dabbing it because he wasn't really selling drugs. He wasn't. He came home every night to his girl and. Um, I heard he was dipping and dabbing and, and shit, but he wasn't doing it the way he did before, you know, the last two times he got locked up. But I told him, I said, you need to just leave that lifestyle alone altogether. Because when you associate yourself with these people, you get caught up in that shit. If your homies is in, involved in, you know, they indulge in that street life and, and they, they sell drugs and, you know, they, they're not law-abiding citizens. Whatever comes that way, you're going to suffer the consequences. If they got beef with a, with a motherfucker and a motherfucker shoot at them and you happen to be in the car at the same time, that's why I don't want to be bothered. I would be I would be nervous sometime when he came over here because I was afraid that he wasn't being honest about not having ops. He always said, I don't got no ops. I ain't beefing with nobody. I ain't out here selling drugs. I ain't living no street life. And I'll be like, okay. 
Well, I hope you tell me if you are, because I don't want you coming over here and and your ops following you and they try to shoot at you and end up hitting me. This is what happens when you associate yourself with people who are involved with the streets. This is the risk that you take. And they bring a lot of pain to their families and loved ones. They don't just suffer, but we have to suffer um, consequences for their criminal activity and behavior. But I'm not going to. This girl called me today and um, she was talking to his sister on his mother's side, his mother's daughter. And they're basically trying to come up with, uh, you know, enough money to bail him out. And the bail is high as fuck. <laughs> when she said 25 um, I'm thinking you mean 2,500, like that's the 10% because usually, you know, bell was like 10%, right? Um, and no, the, the 25, the 25,000, she, she meant 25,000, not 2,500, 25,000. That was the 10%. I'm like, what? So I'm thinking that they traced this gun. This gun is maybe traced to a murder or an attempted murder. And that's the reason why, and they assume that he has something to do with it. And that's the reason why the bell is is so high. Because I'm like, how was twenty five thousand? So you mean to tell me his bell was two hundred two? What is that? Two hundred fifty thousand? I'm I'm terrible with math. I'm terrible with math. But what what is what is what is twenty five thousand ten percent of two hundred fifty thousand? I don't know, but his bell was high. And so they trying to get a Bell's bondsman to bail him out. But I think even if they are willing to pay the twenty five thousand, um, you have to still put like a a a a, a forty percent down payment. You know what I mean? Like the down payment it has to be like forty percent. I think they have to pay like ten thousand or maybe eleven or twelve thousand. So they have to pay to pay a percentage of that. Um, and then the Bell's bondsman would be responsible for the, the, the rest of the money. And as long as he go to court, they, the Bell's bondsman would get their money back. Um, I don't think that you should be responsible for the actions of others. And and I, that's, that's how I feel. I don't feel it's your responsibility to dig other people out of the holes that they put themselves in. We're all adults. We're all responsible for the decisions that we make. He knew the life that he was living and he knew the potential ramifications and consequences that can come as a result of the life that he was living. So he has to deal with that. I'm not contributing no money to that bell. Like, why should I, why should I break my pockets to bail him out? That has nothing to fuck to do with me. I didn't fuck up. You fucked up. So you got to be motherfucking responsible for your poor decisions. He can stay his ass in that jail for all I care. I'm not bailing him out. I'm not pay, I'm not putting down a dime. You're not breaking my motherfucking bank account and breaking my pockets. Uh, I'm not breaking my pockets and breaking my bank account and fucking up my savings to get you out of jail because you decided to hang around motherfuckers who keep guns in that car. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's on you. And they pulled them over because of um, they asked for that license and, and registration, and it was out of it wasn't even up to date. And I'm like, how y'all street niggas and y'all don't got money? Y'all selling drugs, but y'all don't even got money. So y'all 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 just playing with it. Like if you want if you gonna be a street nigga and you gonna sell drugs, then then do it do it right. Don't dip and dab in that lifestyle and end up going to jail over some petty shit. But he would always tell me, yeah, I, I ain't selling no serious drugs. You know what I mean? I ain't making no crazy money selling drugs, you know, because if I do, I'm going to do, you know, major jail time. I, I, I know how to I know how to move. I'm doing a little petty shit. So if they did catch me for something, I ain't going to do I ain't, I ain't going to do but nothing but but, but six months. I ain't going to do nothing but a year because it's, it's just petty shit that I'm doing. And the baby mama said basically that the niggas that 
he hang around our suspect that they she never thought that they were true friends of his because they will always go come back come back to her and tell her shit that he probably didn't want her knowing they will come back and, 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 and tell her shit that he was doing on the side like with other women shit that he was doing on the low with other women and will tell her you, you, you don't deserve to be treated like this he ain't no real nigga he ain't no real man like he doing you dirty I wish I had a good woman like you and she said she appreciated that information that they were sharing with her and telling her but at the same time she was thinking to herself huh what kind of friends are they they can't be trusted they snitching on that man and she said that's how she knew that they wasn't so she know that's not the way real street niggas move and what's pissing me off is that his mother called him or he called his mother and told his mother that he had been arrested and he basically says that he's not going to snitch on the guy I just don't understand these street niggas man and she was like Rasan you going to stand on this this street cold bullshit fuck that street cold shit you got a daughter like unlike the last times you, you got arrested matter of fact I think the second time he got arrested in 2018 his daughter was born a few months after when he came home she was four going on five or three going on four because he had did four years. The second bed was four years. First bed was four years. But his mother like, fuck that street cold shit. You gotta be, you gotta be here for your daughter. His daughter's very smart. Y'all seen the video I uploaded of me and her. She's very smart. And this is a really like crucial and pivotal time of her life where she needs her father. She's old enough now to know what the fuck is going on. She's six years old, but she at 25. She's very smart, very aware. But you willing to do another four, five, six, seven years in jail and miss time out, miss miss time uh, away from your daughter? And you're willing to allow your daughter to grow up without a father because you, you don't want to snitch because you care about what the, the streets think of you? You wanna you you wanna maintain your reputation as being a real nigga? Why is that so important to niggas? You got a lot, you got a daughter you need to be home for. And my whole thing is I don't understand the whole rules of the street. Because my thing is, I, I I know Mexicans, they move a little different from blacks. Because I I did watch a documentary. Um, I don't know if it's Mexicans or Italians, but one of the either one, one of them said that he was an Italian man that said that they 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 you can snitch on an app. Like if an app shoot or kill your mother or your daughter, you can snitch on them because they're an app. But if you were in, in, in indulging in some illegal activity with a friend or with a, a someone who was a part of, of the same gang or somebody that was affiliated with you and you just happened to get caught, even if it was their drugs that, that you know, that um, the cops found or even if it was their gun that the cops found. If they got away and you happened to get caught because you was a dummy or because you was lacking or you wasn't aware uh, of, of what the fuck the situation was and you happened to get caught because you, you were slipping, you got caught slipping and you got caught with the drugs or got caught with the gun, even if it wasn't yours, you have to take that. You have to take that out. You can't snitch and say, oh no, these weren't my drugs. These was Rodriguez drugs. Or this wasn't my gun. This was, this was Raheem gun. No, you got to take that. And that's the risk that you take. That's that's a part of the game. That's the risk that you take when you in in live that lifestyle. You may have to go to jail for somebody else's shit. Now, if it's my shit, it's something I did. You know what I mean? And I, I got caught slipping and I fucked up. I wasn't aware. I wasn't I wasn't watching all. I wasn't being, you know, I wasn't moving the right way. I wasn't, you know, thinking and I, I wasn't, you know, being calculated. Then, you know, that that's just something I have to deal with. But I'll be damned if I go to jail for another nigga shit while he out, he out enjoying his freedom. He he with his family and I'm behind bars in jail because of a, what a, a some a, some because of another nigga shit. Oh no. 
But he want to be true to the game. He want to be a street nigga. So since you want to be a street nigga, then you can say you're street ass in jail. Because this is what I feared fucking with him. You're not going to come into my life and, and fuck what I got going, go, go, what I got going on. Because... I, I, I'm not living. I'm not living that 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 reckless and and death style. You are. So only person that should have to suffer the consequences of your actions and your decisions is you. Nobody else should be held accountable for the mistakes that you make and the decisions that you make and the choices that you choose to make and the things that you choose to do with your life. That that's that's you. Only you should be held accountable for the decisions that you make. Only you, because I told I told him to leave these. Don't even deal with street niggas. Don't even associate yourself with them. You gotta cut these motherfuckers off. Like you gotta you, you gotta have a, a a different mindset when you have a daughter. You have a daughter that you have to raise now. And it's like black men just don't want to grow up. They so obsessed with that lifestyle. And I just for the life of me, I just don't understand it. But you not you not gonna fuck fuck my situation up. I'm not gonna fuck my situation up over you. No, you ain't involving me in that shit. I ain't choose that life you did. So you gotta you gotta uh deal with the consequences or whatever come with it. I'm not breaking my pockets, I ain't breaking my motherfucking bank account for your poor decisions. That's on you. That's a choice that you made. That's a life that you chose. I didn't choose that life. So I'm not gonna be punished. And I'm not gonna punish my pockets. To, to get you out of jail because of, of a, of, of a stupid, stupid choice that you decide to make. No. It don't work like that. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's already bad enough that these street niggas be putting their families' lives in, in, in danger. Cause like I said, if you, if you at war with, with some niggas and they know where your parents live and they can't find you and they, they mad enough, they'll kill your parents. They'll kill your daughter. They'll kill your son. They don't understand like, the, the burden that they put on their family and friends. They don't understand the danger that they put their family and friends in. They don't understand how they complicate their family and friends' lives. Like, your decisions don't just affect you. It affects your family and the people around you, bro. Like, now we, we gotta be, like, we, we, we got, we gotta carry, like, this financial load. You know how much money these, these, these dummies Families have to come out their pocket and, and waste and spend to, to keep them out of jail, to bail them out of jail, or to pay for a lawyer so they don't do no major jail time. Like, like who wants to keep it? Like, who have, like, we shouldn't have to go through that, bro. We shouldn't have to be responsible and, and shouldn't have to have to suffer because of your, 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 your stupid decision making. Like I shouldn't have to be accountable for for no I'm not sending you a whole bunch of money and putting money on your books and no I'm not I'm not I shouldn't have to break my bank account for you because you did some dumb shit you should think about these type of things before you you end up in jail you should make better choices so that you don't have to be in jail you don't have to have somebody on the outside help you and send you money. For a canteen or send you money for for I don't know what what they be wanting in jail for candy and and toothpaste and hygiene products or whatever the fuck their their needs are. If you stop being a criminal and learn how to be a productive citizen and act like you got some fucking sense and and, and be law be a law abiding citizen, then your parents wouldn't have to go through all this shit. This drama they put you through a lot of unnecessary drama, man. I had a friend who told me that her brother caused her to have all types of panic attacks. She felt like one day she was sitting on her couch and she felt like she was getting ready to have a motherfucking aneurysm. She had this real insufferable, painful, sharp pain that went through. She said she felt like it, it was it was something she felt vibrating, going through one temple and coming out the other. She said, you might as well had to got a screwdriver and drill the shrew into her head. That, that's how painful it was. She said, well, it was because of the, the level of stress that her brother caused her. Having to attend court dates for him. Having to put money on his books. Having to break her bank account because she was a lawyer. Having to break her bank account. She said she just spent over, what she say? She said close to $100,000 on him. I said, oh, hell no. I'm not going to be, no. 
You ain't fucking up my bank. I'm gonna fuck up my bank account. I didn't spend. I, I I worked so hard for the money that I have and 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 put so much time and effort into first put my myself in a position to make the money that I make and then saving it and you think that I'm just going to just just blow that on on you you got me fucked up fucked up so he going to sit his ass right in there and um obviously the he just don't learn and so you know like why should I waste my money belling you out when all you going to do is come out and do the repeat the same behavior and end up right back in the same situation and then you you expect me to bail you out again and bail you out again and then you expect me to pay for your lawyers and all that shit and i'm not saying that that's what my brother expect but i know that a lot of a lot of these criminal men they expect you to be there for them so when she was on the phone and she like you know they 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 like try like trying to uh figure out you know how they going to pay for the the um the down payment that they have to put down for the Bell's bombing for the twenty five thousand dollars, and it's like they sitting there like problem solving, and you know his sister in the background. Well, I think I could, I could call my boyfriend and he can put this down, and I could put that down, and then we can call so and so. So now they got to call everybody in the family, and everybody in the family, they, it's like they got to get a fucking offering plate and go to everybody in the family and get everybody in the family to come out their pockets and take the hard. Take, take, take the money that they, they worked hard for that hard earned money they gotta take that hard earned money that and, and take food out their refrigerator and, and food out their kids mouth to, 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 to pay for your bail because you wanted to be a dickhead fuck that man no mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it I'm not doing it so that's all I gotta say y'all I'm like I said I'm depressed I'm fucked up but um you know that's 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 the choice he decided to make, man. That's on him. So yeah, man. Hope he hope he get out. Hope that he um. I ain't want to. A lot more I could have said. I think I said too much. Hoping I didn't say too much, but I said enough. Um, a lot more I could have said, but I don't want to say too much and anything that could get him into potential trouble. Um, so yeah, man. I'm I'm just I'm just disgusted, bro. I'm disgusted, but um. I'll keep y'all updated. Pray for my brother. Love y'all.